Hey everybody, I got all this leftover wood, uh, just scrap wood around the, in the garage, all this pressure treated. I'm going to show you how to make a 30 inch stool for working at a chop saw bench or uh, at a workbench. Uh, and you can keep in your garage and actually move from place to place. Alright, so the first thing is uh, my measurements, it might be different from yours, okay? I'm going to cut uh, two pieces of 15 inch. Okay, and my uh, sides the, for the box is going to be 16 and 3 eighths. All right, and then I'm going to take and make uh, panels going across about, it's going to be probably about that size, but we'll figure out, and I'm going to need a smaller one, I already know that. Uh, all right, so um, I'm going to show you, show you how to do this, and uh, it's actually quite easy. So you're going to need uh, decking screws. I, I'm going to use about three and a half, four inches uh, decking screws. You're going to pre-drill when you put these together so you don't split the wood. Now, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm putting the shorter ones here, 15 inch here, and the 16 and 3 eighths here. Okay, uh, and you want to make sure they're absolutely flat. And then I'm using a uh, uh, preset, okay, that actually measures up to this. So uh, it pre drills and put two right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these together and work my way around. Make sure they're truly 90 degrees, as flat as possible. And just keep going. Now see, that's what I like right there. All right, they're set in there, and uh, and uh, the wood didn't split. And that's the objective: is not to have the wood split. I tell you that uh, if you don't have another person to hold this into place, and the, one of these is way out here, these kind of clamps, the long clamps, always come in handy. So you want a perfect square out of that, and that will be, that's what we have there. All right, all of our measurements are going to be different because uh, it depends on the size of a top you want for your your stool. All right, so um, mine's 17 and a half inches going across. I need one, two, three, four, and a little piece of another one. I used uh, the table saw to actually slice that down. All right, uh, now what you need to do is take and set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to do one there, one there, one there, one there. Same thing on this side with one there, one there, one there, or one there, one there. So, uh, so it's going to take quite a few uh, screws. If you don't have enough, use something that's going to put enough in between the two to hold them down. Well, there you go. All the screws are in. I got my, might have to put that one down a little further, but uh, they're down low enough that if I want to um, sand, they're not going to get in the way. I would like it to be perfectly uh, even, especially if I want to put a cushion on top of it. Now, no splitting anywhere and underneath no protruding out, nice and clean all in there. Now we're going to put our legs on there. So legs are going to go in. It would be nice to have 4x4s, four but I'm going to use uh, regular 2x4s, I think, and uh, brace them down. All right, so we're going to put them in. We're going to go uh, a screw here, a screw here, and a screw on top going down. All right, that's the idea. We'll see how that works. Now you have one and a half inches down here, so you have to, uh, to make it 30 inches, 28 inches, and that's what I cut right here is 28 inches. All right, notice that there's one new piece of wood and three older ones. Hey, the mixture's okay. Like I said, it's leftover wood. So uh, now to put the legs in, and I'll probably put some braces in there. And uh, what I did is I put an arrow over here, which side is forward. So when I put my well, footrest in there, it's in the right spot. Now, I already uh, pre-drilled pre in three different areas here. Now what you want to do is these two are mid. And this is down a little lower so it doesn't hit these. This can be a four inch if you want. Inch and a half here and the rest goes in. These must be a little bit more than uh, an uh, inch and a half. So I would say maybe two, two and a half inches. So you don't go all the way through. Because you, if you do anything under here, you store anything, you don't want to cut your hands on, on the screws. Then we're going to do one from the top. And um, I'm probably going to go uh, put a two or three inch in. So I don't actually hit this guy, which will be the lowest one. Just want to show you, I drilled a little too high there and I hit this screw over here. So it's not going to go in and so that proves the screw's reaching all the way through. So I went back down where I'm supposed to be. So just be careful where you're drilling and, and if you need to mark with a pencil, that's oh, what I used on this is two three inch and one four inch on the side. And I'll probably put something on top, don't know right now, but it, it does take a while. You got to pull these, put these in, take them out uh, three times before the bottom is flush and is flush against all the way down on the side. Okay, now I might not see my face, but that's irrelevant. Okay, so um, I've already gotten this a couple times. It's really sturdy. Okay, I'm having. A, okay, I'm going to end up uh, sitting like this, where I have a point here, 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 and in the back. 
I think this is going to be a lot easier and more stable. So what I, what I want to do is put a foot rest. Okay, so what I have is, I'm looking at where my heel is along here. Okay, and you try making a mark where the heel is, and you want to put a 2x4 underneath, going uh, at least in these two spots. I may put it all the way around just for more uh, stability. Okay, so uh, find out where the mark is, and I'm looking at an eyelet down there. Okay, so I'm going to come right down here and mark with a pencil right there, and then I'll measure down all the way around to make sure it's the same marking. Well, guys, that's the difference between pre drilling and not pre drilling. So I got to pull these out and uh, pre drill so they go in all the way all the way in. So just save you some, some time and uh, pre drill. I put uh, braces all the way around. Uh, these sides are on the See, now this is a lot safer to get on, too. It's not wobbling at all. I have braces all the way around. And I have something to put my feet while I'm doing it. So I'm not sitting there dangling down like this and cutting off circulation around my legs. So, uh, hey, even if, if you're able to do this, I mean, it is kind of heavy. It's solid. It's definitely solid. And you can probably fit a, a shelf underneath to put, like, a cooler or drinks or something like that. But I think it's a really cool idea. Let me know what you think.